I like to, when I see somebody who gets discouraged, right? I don't want to do that again. I say, okay, so what I hear you saying is you'd like me to work your injured area, right? Yes, okay. So if you'll make a deal with me, we're going to go and work the injured area. We're going to do two sets. We're going to retest it, see what the result is. And then if you don't mind, maybe we'll go to another thing in that area in the, in, on the injured side. And we'll go into ease. And we'll do two sets. And then if you're okay, we're going to go to the other side of the body that seems yummy. Or we're going to go to another area of the body that's moving well. We're going to do two sets. You don't like the leg raise on the left because it's too aggro, but twists are pretty easy, right? Let's do two sets of twists to the good direction and recheck that leg. If, are you willing to do that and say whichever way we get the best improvement, we'll run with? Because I'm okay if the best improvement comes with the injured area into the into restriction. If you're okay if the best improvement comes with doing our finger, all right, and it, it, it fixes your knee. And they'll, they'll say, yeah, absolutely. So, Andrew, that's the best. I don't try to explain why I'm doing it. I try to tell them what our choices are to do. <clears throat> so we can go into restriction on the injured side. We can go into ease on the injured side. And then we can find other motions that move well, that are easy, and do those and see what happens. We can find other motions that don't move well and do those and see what happens on that knee. I'm going to repeat this again, guys. It's an experiment of whether I'm going to use motions that are restricted to fix something. Am I going to stay in the area or not stay in the area? So let's say we're going to stay in the area. You have, I'm going to give you a choice. Do you want to stay in the area? Well, let's not even give a choice. Let's stay in the area and go into restriction and do two sets and see what the result is. Then let's stay in the area of injury and go into ease and see what the result is. Then let's go into another quadrant of your body. You, would you like to start with going into restriction on something there and then see what it does to this? Or would you go into ease somewhere else and see what it does to this? It happens to be your left knee moves pretty well. We could use start there if you want, or your trunk twist moves pretty well. All right, your trunk twist. Do you want to go into restriction on your trunk twist or ease on your trunk twist? Oh, let's go into restriction. Okay, go into restriction. See what it does. Now what do you want? You want to go into ease? Okay, let's see what it does. People aren't looking at, they're looking so compartmentalized, it's ridiculous. And your whole career has been that way because we're taught in these little bitty parts. But if, if this were the whole thing, this would be a blast. I'm sorry. I could teach just about anybody from any walk of life. I don't care what degree they had, whether they even had a degree. I don't care. I could say, okay, look, you got a knee problem. Everything's about motion, whether I'm doing it on you or you're doing it, you're moving it. Let's take that knee and find out where it doesn't move. Let's do two sets of not where it's not moving. Awesome. Let's check and see what it did. Now let's find some motions in that knee of what's easy. Okay, let's do it, see what it did. Now, we've gotten into a routine thinking we've got to go to the opposite side, meaning left to right. Truth of the matter, TMR is find what's good, see what it does to it. Find what's bad, see what it does to it. And you didn't know that. That's all the damn thing is that you're ever doing with any technique. It's just you think that you can't go to work neck to fix a big toe. And I don't care whether you're doing manual or you're doing corrective exercise. There it is. And now I'm giving you, now when you go like that, and I think, Glenn, you just had an aha moment kind of thing with, with the, I saw you kind of go, ah, okay. Now, I just explained it, Andrea, in a, in a way that the patients would get it too. Because what I'm going to do is that we're going to start here. Hey, in restriction, or in restriction we're going to do two sets. We're going to go in and see what happens. We're going to go ease into the, um, the injured area and see what happens. Okay, cool. And we're going to come over here, or we're going to go to another part of the body. We're going to go into restriction or ease, see what happens. Cool? 
All right, cool. Now they get going and say, oh, I'd really like you to treat me. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna treat, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do something on you now, and we're going to recheck to see what it does to you. And then we're going to do, get, sit, watch this. I'm going to treat you one time, and then we're going to come over and do something where, in that same area that I'm not going to treat you. I'm going to have you move. So get, watch what I've gotten. I'm going to do manual on you, see what the result is, and then you're going to move in that area and see what the result is. If you guys want to prove about manual and corrective exercise, that's what you should do. Go do manual in that area, see what the result is. A manual, not one, one, two sets, three sets of something. Boom, see what the result is. And then have them do motion in that area, see what the result is. Then go, remember, oh, you know what, it's going into restriction manually. Okay, go into ease manually, see what the result is. And then have them go into something that feels good, easy, see what the result is. Then, Say, I'm gonna to go to another area of the body and do manual. I'm gonna to go to the trunk now, or the, I'm gonna do the shoulder. I'm gonna do a manual technique on the shoulder. See what it did to the knee. What, that's insane, that's crazy. Is it insane just to try something to see if it changes it? I'm gonna go into restriction half of it, matter of fact. Good, see what it does. But now I'm gonna go into ease and see what it does. That shouldn't be scary, that shouldn't be argued about, that shouldn't be fought against. And look at that, I've, been, I've taken the umbrella and put it over every technique that you guys do. Damn, that's pretty good, I gotta save that shit. Sometimes I'm like, damn, that's why you guys will get certain videos and I'll cut them, right? And I go, ooh, ooh, that's good stuff right there. That's like probably the easiest, or the most clear way I've ever, I mean, Deborah's been with us as long as so that's probably one of the most clear ways I've ever put together what we're actually doing in a way that you guys should be able to hear and see it and every single patient should be able to hear and see it. I've tried to do this experiment thought process and explain it, but that was probably one of the best. <laughs>